Welcome back to Cradle. So we're gonna play this game here coming up to get that uh, breathing module for Ida. And I guess the object is to throw the blue cubes into the uptrap and get them up into the top. And I can also, I think, create more blue cubes by placing blue cubes into white cubes, if I understand this correctly. And if I fall into the water, which I'm assuming is on the bottom, then I lose points. All right, so let's look for some blue there, some blue. Ooh, what is that? Well, that red is probably not a good thing. Okay, did he just blow up some cubes? Um, Alright, that was um, cool. Why well, you gotta be like that, man? Oh, there's a blue one. Alright. This. I'm not just gonna toss it, I wanna place it into a white one. I think this is gonna create more blue. In theory. my updraft. Oh, there we go. Oh, did you just blow up my cube? That was uncool, man. up here. I'd very much like to get some more before I move down. The red cubes are probably not good. Can I smack that guy with the blue cube though? I move the red cube. The 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 evil dude that shows up. So that would be pretty swell. I can just toss that out of the way. Oh, is that it for blue cubes here? There's one down there. I don't want to move down there just yet. I'd like to get another blue cube up here and place it in it against that white one and create a few more. But that doesn't look like, oh, I can get that one. Aha. Is that white? And, oops, I screwed that up. That's all right, that's down below. I keep pressing the wrong button. Well, that sucked. It's alright, I can jump into this updraft. Get back up there. Ah! Or so I thought.
remaking the floor. How you like me now? Ah, oh, I just blew up my blocks. That was uncool. Ah, give me back my updraft. Thank you. Blowing up my block like that, that's not cool. I thought I'd sneak on past you. get rid of him for a little bit. Apparently not. I'm getting close. Looks like I'm going to need to move down. I didn't trap all the way into the water. Let's jump into the updraft and get up a little higher. That's a little too close for comfort. Ooh, only one more to go. Here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how you like me now? Alright. So I get this breathing module for Ida now. So I'm assuming I need to bring it back to her. Another question is, how do I get out of here? I hopped the fence to get in because there was a tree leaning up against it. Probably going to be no such luck to get out. Let's take a look around. That's pretty cool. I 
guess I take the slide down. Whee. Oh, is that another functioning elevator? I don't know whether this would be useful, but there were people that were dubbed outsiders. For whatever reason, they sought to spread the sterility virus. They were the reason the virus became a global scourge. But how they did it, or why, that I do not remember. Deep underwater. I don't suppose I get to play this game. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Functional elevators. But, oh, well, hot dang. All right. Tropical islands. I suppose I get to play this game now. It's been abandoned for years. How are these things still inflated and functioning? I suppose if they're metal, you wouldn't have leaked. I don't know. I don't know. Back down the slide, go. Whee! slide is messed up. I'm not sure I'd want to go down that slide. No, nothing's lit up here, so I'm going to take a guess this doesn't work. Okay, it's out of order. This one's lit up, but I'm, I think this is the one I was just at. Endless Sands, yeah. This one, no light, so that one's out of order. And that's all of them up there. Alright. Uh, let's try to find a way out of this place. Is a light? So, I don't think I'm going to be able to just go through or over the fence. I mean, I suppose I could do a lap around the perimeter to see if there happens to be a tree from this side leaning up against it. That would be, but I, I highly doubt I'm going to be getting out in the same manner I got in. That's just from my adventure game experience. Um, it's going to have to be something else. Well, I can see that's how it's still got powers, probably from that windmill. Is this some kind of carnival ride? Oh, is that a control panel? Something's up and I'm sitting in the chair. Alright. Push this button. Ooh. Oh, it's um okay. Um I 
if I put the, that brings me back down, okay. Uh, let's go back up. Alright. Uh, let's go this way. Oh yeah! Deluxe transportation and bam! Through the fence. Now I can just walk through there. So if I need to go back. Um, I'm probably going to need to stop soon. Stop, 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 stop. for a ride again. At least not have easy access in and out of the dome. Whoa, Ida, I got a breathing module for you. Did you bring the module? Yes, how do I install it? Yes, how do I install it? There should be a pipe inside the chest. A trick here. The air passes through it, so you need to connect the module to it somehow. All right. Should I shut you down before I open up the chest? Is this going to be, like, painful? No, don't freak out. Huh? All right, cool. Looks like there's a pipe right there. Like, uh, probably not gonna be just this easy. I'm probably gonna need something else, right? No, it just goes right in. Okay. And let me put your chest back on. Can I put this back on? Thank you. Don't mention it. Finally, I'm breathing. So, did you find the password? How goes your search? Did you find the password? Not yet. But I did remember a bit about myself. I used to work here at the Gerbera Garden as a teacher, I think. I remember kids being brought here to watch a show. They would then play in the pavilions, carry body parts from there, and pile them up by the stage for some reason. What an odd amusement park to be. Yeah? Strange indeed that it was built here. There's something I don't understand. You said it was abandoned, but it's still operating. It's got power. Why wasn't it taken down? Um, yeah, there are these, like, black smoke clouds in there. There was an explosion. It's full of some poison. Do you remember anything about that? Um, I think I know what it was that exploded there. Disparatoxin. What's that? That's the substance from which the virus came into being. The epidemic began after one such explosion. So there are multiple? One? You mean there were other explosions? Several hundred, all across the. This sounds like sabotage. Who carried out the explosion? Remember, I was telling you about the outsiders. The explosions were their handiwork. Was it their handiwork, or were they just uh, scapegoats? Were they terrorists? What was their goal? No goal to speak of. They weren't even doing it on purpose, really. Simply, sometimes their passing capsules would explode in their chests, spontaneously. The emotions generated substance with the cause. What was wrong with it? It had a dangerous component. Bitter passing. 
It's a kind of dark liquid, which may suddenly turn poisonous and explode. Those people were carrying a bomb in their chests. It wasn't their intention to massacre thousands of people and strip the entire race of the ability to procreate. But that's what happened. But how are they different from the others? Genetic defects. The more defects in the DNA, the more bitter the passing becomes. Outsiders were at once pitied and feared. Nobody wanted to live next to a time bomb. Many outsiders left their hometowns. They didn't want to cause anyone trouble. So that's why they were called outsiders. They were called all sorts of things, including lower class and ugly people. I still remember the slogan. Protect society from the emotions of ugly people. What an unexpected problem for society. But not the only problem. Living in an M-body requires fuel, and fuel can only be obtained in exchange for sweet passing. Provided you have it, which the outsiders did not. They were unwitting spongers. Spongers? Spongers? They were issued poor heredity assistance from the public rescue fund. The fund was founded and sustained by a special tax that was levied on all the citizens. First and foremost, on the beautiful elite. A lion's share of the reserves went towards supporting ugly people. Thus, they became a constant headache. Not only spreading the virus, but also draining the rescue fund. Those ugly, poisonous spongers. It was their emotions that were poisonous. Uglies are dangerous merely by living and feeling, and that they deprive the rest of any hope of returning to the way things were. I remember all the heated debates, the frantic search for a solution. And did they find it? Yes, I think so. The committee proposed a hibernation program, putting the uglies to sleep. <laughs> Come again? What kind of sleep? Deactivation. A voluntary shutdown. A temporary one until the virus is destroyed. And many of them agreed, realizing it was the best option they had. I don't know whether it helped or... Hold on. What? The password. I think I got the right one. Yes, I'm in. I see the files. I'm trying to find info on the employees. It should have my data as well. You've got strange eyesight. Why is that? You see virtual files. I wouldn't refuse regular eyesight either. It's all dark, but I can't figure out what's broken. The screen on your face. It's broken. It's called a look screen. And yes, it's damaged. Might there be a working one at the Gabera Garden? There probably is, but it won't recover my sight. Something is up with my lens, and the garden wouldn't have those. Nor do I know where to find them. I suppose I'll look for a lens then. Where? In the field? There's nobody around. What was that? Don't know. I'll go check it out. All right, save game so we can leave off here and uh, pick up next time. Um, yeah, the game's definitely interesting. The the voice acting, not so much for Ida, but for um, the character I'm playing is pretty terrible. But oh well, I can deal with that. All right, so we'll pick up 